hey, 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 today's Dwayne's dashboard version 3 came out and it's much easier to set up than the older versions. I'm going to show you how in this video. Dwayne's dashboard 3.0 came out today and it looks really nice. This is the website of it and it shows you how the interface of Dwayne's dashboard 3.0 looks. It looks really nice and it's totally automated this time, so it's quite easy to set up. I set it up today and I wanted to show you how it works and how to set it up. Let's go to Home Assistant to get it going. If you want to install Dwayne's dashboard, you need to have hacks. I created a video about that and the link is in the description below. So let's go to hacks first. And there we are going to add an integration. We're going to integrations and we're going to download a repository. And there we are going to search for Dwayne's. And we click on Dwayne's dashboard. And now we can click on download this repository with hacks. It's version 3, so click on download. And now it's installed. So now you have to restart Home Assistant. For that, go to Configuration, Settings, Restart. And after restarting, go back to Configuration, Devices and Services. Go to Add Integration. Search for Dwayne's. Click on Dwayne's dashboard and click on Finish. Now you see that Dwayne's dashboard is in the left sidebar. And if you click on it, you might get an error. So yes, I get that error and that means that you have to refresh your cache. So I'm going to refresh my cache. I have a tool for that, but you can refresh your browser cache. So I refresh my cache and then Dwayne's dashboard starts up immediately. And you see that it's already working. You see on the left side all the links of the rooms. And if you click on them, you see the devices and the entities on the right side, which are in the rooms. That works pretty fast. It doesn't look that nice yet, so I'm going to customize it a little bit. So click on the three dots and I can group it by devices. So that looks a little bit more nice because now I have everything grouped by devices. I can also ungroup it again. And there are more options that I can do. So let's say I can click enable edit mode and now I can move all the cards around. So I can move them by just dragging and dropping, which is really nice. But you can also hide or disable entities in Dwayne's dashboard. So I'm going to hide some entities now to make it more nice. Just hide a couple of entities to give you a little bit of an idea. So basically you go to all the rooms to clean up all the entities that you don't want to see. And in the end, it looks a lot nicer. So I'm going to show you how it looks in the end on my side. I cleaned everything up and now it looks like this on my side. It looks a lot cleaner. I removed the entities and I removed the devices that I didn't want to see. And it looks a lot cleaner now. So let's say for instance, the office, you see the binary sensors over there. You see the camera. You see the climate, you see the lights, media player, the remote, and you see a lot of sensors with the graphs in it. It's really nice. And also the switches. And you can switch those switches on and off by just clicking on the icon. So let's click it off, click it on. That looks pretty cool. Now I can do something more. Next to the rooms, I can also go to devices. And on the devices page, I see all the devices by type. So I can see my remotes, my sensors, and I can see my lights and everything grouped by device. That is also really nice. We can customize our dashboard even more by clicking on the three dots, then go to enable edit mode and then add a card. In this case, I'm going to add a Lovelace card, which is a mushroom card and it's the title card. So I'm giving it a title, let's say all my devices. And I can also choose what the row span and the 
column span is for this card. So let's say the row span is one row for all the options and it's two columns for a small size, two columns for medium and two for big size screens. Submit it. And then you will see if I disable edit mode that I have a title all my devices. So that's also really handy and you can do it for every card in your dashboard. So I'm going to remove this again. Click on edit, remove. And there is an other option and that is the more option where I can define more pages. So let's create another page, create new more page. Again, a Lovelace card. And let's say I'm going to add an alarm panel card. If you want to see the alarm video that I created, the link is in the description below. And I'm going to give it a name, alarm, and I'm going to submit it. And now I created a new page in Drain's dashboard, which is called alarm. And if I open it, it shows me the alarm panel. Let's add another card. So again, we go to the three dots, we go to create a new more page and another Lovelace card. And in this case, I'm going to do an entities card. I'm going to give the title motion sensors and give it an icon motion sensors. I can also add this more page to the main window, but I am not really going to do that. But just so you know, now we're going to add motion sensors here. So the first motion sensor, say the bathroom motion sensor, second motion sensor, front door motion sensor, and then we have another motion sensor. Let's say the hole downstairs. So we're going to submit it. And now we created the motion sensors page. So you can tweak it a lot. So now let's show how this looks on mobile. This is how Dwayne's dashboard looks on mobile. It is really slick. You can slide the top bar. You can go to every room, see all the devices in every room and it's really nice. Go back to the home page, go to the kitchen, go back again. Let's go to the office. You see the cameras, you see the lights, you see everything. It looks really nice. And I set it up in like 30 minutes maybe. So that is really cool. It looks very nice and it's really handy to use. There's one important thing you need to know to get Dwayne's dashboard to work. And that is that all your devices and entities are bound to the correct areas in Home Assistant. Otherwise it won't work. So go to configuration, go to devices and scenes, go to a device. In this case, I'm going to choose for a lamp. And I'm going to check for the area here. And for this, it's already okay, but you can choose a different area if you want. And you can do the same for groups. So go to configuration, go to automations and scenes, go to helpers. And now I'm going to search for the kitchen light group and the kitchen light group is also in an area. And that in my case is also the correct area. If you don't have your devices and entities connected to areas, you won't see those devices and entities in Dwayne's dashboard. So make sure you set that up correctly. So setting up Dwayne's dashboard version three is much easier than setting up the older versions. I think it took me in total about 30 minutes to set it up. So try it out, see if it works for you, and maybe this dashboard is your new go-to dashboard. I hope this video helped you. If so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tick the notification bell, and I see you next time. Bye bye.